now, okay, now in this video, I want to talk about lightweight easels, drawing easels, or painting, or display easels. What I have here is a very lightweight beechwood easel that's easy to assemble, adjustable, and perfect for a small studio space, I would say. It's not one of the large, heavier atrium easels. It's quite lightweight. And I would say it's very easy to install as well. Just a few little uh, bits to actually put together, like this area here at the back, where it's adjustable. As you can see here, you can move it different directions, so it's at slightly different angles. Okay, and it's quite sturdy. If you tend to keep it sort of narrow, it will move quite a bit. So if you extend it all the way back, doesn't tend to move. Now the good thing about this easel is you can use it to attach uh, canvases to. As you can see here, it's ideal for canvases, just just the back of it like this here, as you can see. Center. And it's perfect. Perfect height waist high, so there's not too much arm strain involved if you go too high or too low. So it just helps you with that, the right sort of comfortable height from which to paint or draw. Now, as well as canvases, stretched canvases, you can use a, a drawing board. Now again here, this particular easel as you can see, is perfect for drawing as well. So you can produce drawings of price. Again, drawing at a comfortable level, working vertically on the canvas. And it's very, very lightweight, easily portable. And obviously when you're finished, it can be to the center very easily and stored against the wall if you just don't want to use the space or behind a doorway or something so it is quite a convenient size uh, it's I would say one of the cheaper easels this one was about 40 pounds UK 40 pounds uh, and obviously from that it's pretty good value for money for that particular price range, I would say. So, for a cheap, convenient easel for drawing, painting, or display, this really does uh, help you do that. So, I would recommend this particular easel. I've been using it now for about a year. I've had no trouble with it. It does tend to move here a little bit. So, what you've got to do tighten, make sure those are tight, these screws here, and once they are it's pretty sturdy then, you do get a little bit of movement and you do tend to, if you're doing sort of quite vigorous drawing, you will get a little bit of movement on the easel as you can see here. So if you're doing, doing to do very expressive work where you put a lot of pressure onto the easel, I would recommend a heavy duty easel that's not going to move. For if your purpose is just to do drawing or displaying work on top of the easel, then this does suit that type of activity or that particular type of purpose. So you can draw it. So good, good quality, pretty cheap, good for a small studio space, and it really does help you create that type of work. And you can display your work quite well with this easel, as you can see here. Okay, so obviously I do recommend this particular product. I've been using it for about a year now. I've had no trouble with it. It stays together. The joints are pretty strong. It doesn't move about. As I said here, there's a little bit of movement. But if you're looking for something that's really sturdy, that's not going to move, I would suggest just a larger, a higher price range, really, for that particular type 
of HRA measles. Okay, thank you for watching.